Hi there, today we're going to have a look at some uh, sunglasses for archery, uh, mainly Bolle uh, brand and we're going to have a look at sort of why you wouldn't wear ordinary, may not wear ordinary sunglasses for shooting and why you probably wouldn't want to go out and buy some really expensive um, Pila um, shooting glasses uh, when others with different kind of lenses may uh, be just as good really. Now I've been sent these um, sunglasses, some I already had, um, but then a company contacted me called nothingbutsafetyglasses.com and uh, they sell a wide range of sports uh, glasses and safety glasses from different manufacturers uh, with different lenses. Uh, to choose from um, and each obviously lens has different properties so I've got a range of lenses here in a range of different frames that uh, that I managed to try outside uh, when we went outside to shoot archery in April um, I've also tried some of these indoors because they also work some of them just as well indoors if you're in a sort of a low light hall or, or shooting venue so let's start by uh, running through each pair and seeing how much they cost and what lenses I've got in them and uh, and how I got on with them. Before we kind of start off, um, if you're like me when I'm shooting outside, um, I can't stand squinting at the target or having the wind kind of blow in my face really. Um, so wearing sort of sunglasses for me is, is really a good idea, especially outside. Um, but you might want to, you might not want to spend um, hundreds and hundreds of pounds on sort of professional archery sunglasses. So, so what are the kind of alternatives? Well, when I first started looking, um, I, I started looking and I bought a pair on my own um, called a Bolle Cobra glasses, and I bought those with yellow lenses, and they're on the table, and I'll we'll take a closer look at those in a minute. And these are a, a kind of wraparound design with no central obstruction. Um, and they basically, what I found was outside is they will enhance the gold center uh, and stop the glare and they don't fall off your face and they're quite comfortable and reasonably priced as well. Um, so when the uh, company uh, nothingbutsafetyglasses.com decided to send me some glasses, um, they offered to sign, send me a, a good selection of uh, glasses with different lenses. Now. They weren't kind of, uh, didn't know much about, obviously about archery and what were kind of, what sort of uh, features we're looking for in sunglasses really. So I kind of really just put it down to a, a few main points. The first one, um, I said that I wanted them to be lightweight. I want it to be comfortable. So you feel like you're actually not wearing them. Um, want to actually enhance the target face if possible, especially the gold. Uh, reduce the glare. So obviously take the kind of any sunlight that's uh, affecting your shot. Um, we don't want them fogging up, so we want anti-fog. And of course, we want them to look good as well when we're standing on the line. So with all that, they basically sent me the, uh, the five and uh, on the table, plus my own already yellow lensed ones. Um, and obviously the uh, original sunglasses that I would normally wear. Now when you wear, this is basically a cheap kind of normal pair of sunglasses. Um, that I've bought which are which are great lightweight plastic um, but what I usually find is when I wear them they're just too dark when you're outside shooting they make everything dark um, they may, may uh, stop you squinting and take the sun out of your eyes but usually I just find them to be too dark and not brilliant for shooting that's why I went looking for um, some different glasses now this is the first pair that I actually bought myself these are the Bolle Cobras with the yellow lenses now a lot of people wear these for shooting, uh, for rifle shooting and things as well. Um, they're also, I saw uh, night driving as well and things like that. But I've sort of tried them, tried them out. Um, what did I like about them when they bought them? Well, they weren't expensive. They were kind of about uh, less than kind of ten pounds, really, ten English pounds. Um, you get a nice kind of wrap around uh, lens there. Um, there's no obstruction really in the middle. They're lightweight. They fit really well. You can see the arms move up and down as well to get your perfect fit. Um, and then you get a, a neck collar as well that you can slide on. So they're not gonna fall off. Um, you also get, with uh, as with most of the Bolle 
uh, one's glasses you get a nice kind of bag with them and I've really enjoyed wearing these yellow ones and they are the first pair that I usually go to uh, when I'm shooting really if it's a bright sort of sunny day outside the only downside to them I found was that if you kind of, if you're like me with quite long eyelashes sometimes and you put them really close to your face, you may find that they kind of grease up slightly from the sort of the grease um, on, your, uh, on your eyelashes. Uh, it's not really fogging up, you just have to sort of clean them every now and again really. So that's those ones, that's the Cobra yellow lensed ones. Now they do come in different, um, a lot, of, uh, a great range of um, lens types actually. They come in a clear, a yellow, a smoke, a contrast, an ESP, a CSP, and an HD. Now, the two that I've got here today with me are, if I can find the sheet right, yeah, the yellow lens, and I've got the same Cobras here, but in a contrast lens. I don't know if you can see that. They're very clear lens, but on the top of them, you've got a sl silver banding going along the top otherwise it's the same frame shape just a different lens so what is the contrast lens well they say the contrast lens for working under bright lights or sun and they also say the yellow light is really which is my favorite glasses is for low light conditions now let's just run through the other uh, lens types a clear lens they say is for excellent optical quality the ESP is for reducing harmful blue light. The smoke lens are for full solar protection and reducing glare. And the yellow uh, is, well, I just said that already, for low light conditions. And the contrast lens for working under bright lights or sun. And the CSP is for working in low and bright light conditions in extreme temperatures. And finally, the HD ones give you the highest level of optical clarity and aquaphobic properties, which really means they repel the water the best. So let's take a closer look at each of these glasses in turn. Okay, our first one is the uh, Bolle Spider pair of glasses with a flash lens. And these retail for eight pounds, so they're quite a reasonable price. Now they come in three different lenses. They come in a clear, an ESP and a flash. So you know about what obviously what a, what a kind of clear lens would be uh, would be for. Um, an ESP is for working in low and bright light conditions in extreme temperatures. And the um, I'll tell you a little bit about the flash lens. These are sort of distinguished by their reflective appearance, and so are very popular. Um, they're similar to a smoke lens, and they filter out roughly ninety percent of visible light making them excellent for bright outdoor conditions. Um, although they also filter out up to 60% of infrared radiation as well. Um, so they're an excellent choice for working in direct sunlight or in an uh, industrial process given off high temperatures. Um, they also give full solar protection, including additional infrared protection. Um, now these glasses, I've tried them um, in archery they're not my favourite of the group, and I will come to the end of which ones are my favourite, which ones I recommend. Um, but I do love these glasses just for wearing them normally uh, outside uh, on a sunny day. Um, so they're still a great buy, um, but just not my favourites actually for archery. So let's move on to the next ones. Okay, next up we have the Bolle uh, Contour lens. Uh, very lightweight lens. Um, these ones come with a polarized lens in. These are quite a bit more money um, than the other ones I've shown you, which are around £10. These ones are actually £40, only because of the polarized lens. If you had a different lens type in these, um, they would be a lot cheaper. Now, these also, shown here as in a plastic frame, but you can buy these in a metal frame as well if you want. And uh, they come in clear smoke ESP and the polarized ones that you see there. Um, what are polarised lenses for? Well, when light reflects off a surface at a low angle, um, it reverberates. Um, as this light enters the eye, it disperses, causing glare. So the polarising filter minimises this reverberated light, which enables better vision 
and reduces the need to uh, squint or glare. Now I have shot in these, obviously there is a slight obstruction in the middle, but they don't seem to make any difference, uh, that obstruction in the middle. It, they're still a great uh, glass uh, for shooting in, especially when it's really, really sunny. Uh, very lightweight, even though they look like they've got a really dark lens, um, the, uh, the, the gold and the target is still, still easily seen. Um, it doesn't really enhance them, but, uh, but it doesn't sort of darken them either, which uh, a normal kind of cheaper pair of off-the-shelf kind of sunglasses would. So these ones, and you can obviously also wear these any time, any time of day, and they're so lightweight and comfortable, you feel like you actually haven't got them on. So these ones I can really recommend, the Bolle Contours. Okay, here we have the Bolle Rush uh, type of lens. This is a plastic lens going all the way around. Um, you get quite a wide section. It kind of, uh, it does kind of go all up. It's nicely angled here where it kind of goes all the way around and then bends there. Um, slight central obstruction there, but nothing terrible. Really nice set of sunglasses actually. These ones um, come in with clear HD smoke and twilight lenses and these are only five pounds each. Uh, obviously all plastic. Um, this one's got the twilight lens in it. Well, these the twilight lens is useful for low light uh, conditions outdoors. I have tried these uh, outside, um, although most of the days have been kind of uh, sunny, uh, luckily, this year. Um, not my favourites. Um, they do obviously give a slight kind of brown tint to everything um, and don't seem to enhance the kind of uh, target face at all. But... They are very comfortable. Um, not my favourites, but worth a look. Let's go on to the next ones. Right, up next is the Bolle Bandido 2s. Um, these are shown with a smoke lens, and these are also sort of £5. Um, you've got four lens choices in these, a clear yellow smoke and an ESP. Okay, basically, a smoke lens is much the same as you'll find in traditional sunglasses but with the added strength of an EN166 certified impact resistance. Um, and these also block up to 87% of visible light. Uh, so smoke lenses are good for full solar protection and reducing glare. Um, these are quite dark, I must admit, when, I, when I've tried them on. I also think, they also remind me of like a bug eye kind of glass because they kind of uh, wrap around, but very kind of circular, kind of oval um, design on them um, again they kind of wrap around quite nicely contoured and logoed on the side there um, again they did lock out block out a lot of light um, didn't really enhance the target um, and were a little bit sort of dark for me really um, but again still very comfortable and, and a very good price So now we have the Bolle Cobra lenses, um, the yellow lens at the bottom, which is the one I already bought myself, uh, and the uh, contrast lens at the top, both eight pounds, so very good value, no obstruction in the middle, um, and you get a neck collar to sort of keep them on, so they're not gonna fall off. Um, really like these glasses, can't say enough about them really. Uh, the yellow ones for outside really enhance the yellow uh, center or the gold, center of the target. The, uh, the clear ones enhance or make everything seem very much uh, clearer, kind of like an HD kind of lens in the contrast ones. So they can be brilliant for indoors uh, shooting as well. And I have worn those indoors, especially if you're in a kind of a low light uh, hall or, or something like that or venue. So uh, I'm not afraid to wear these indoors as well. Now the contrast lens, uh, the clearer ones at the top, they have a gradient of tint from the dark at the top to clear at the bottom because they've got a little bit of a silver line at the, along the top edge. Um, so these are apparently now preferred by many that used to wear clear lenses as they protect from sun glare and lighting above but allow high clarity when working at eye level or below. Uh, and they're also good for working under bright lights or sun. 
Now the yellow lens um, provides additional contrast and reduces glare, which makes it, uh, making it appear easier to see in low light as well. But they're also very popular when working on uh, surfaces of a similar colour, such as uh, snow or on a cloudy overcast day. So these work also in sun and uh, when you're outside on an overcast day. During low light, many surfaces can appear flat uh, or flat light, as, as some people call it. Um, and this can usually happen in the middle of an overcast day, which makes the yellow light um, lens really popular in the UK. So finally, I just want to thank uh, nothingbutsafetyglasses.com. Please have a look at their website. Um, you can order in, uh, in any quantities, single items, um, or you can order in bulk and get more discounts. The more you buy, the cheaper they are. Such a great range of um, safety glasses and sporting glasses on there with huge range of uh, different lenses for different pairs of sunglasses. So what have I got in front of me? Well, these three really are my favorites uh, for archery, really. Uh, so on the right-hand side, we've got the contours with the polarized lens. Yes, they are 40 pounds, um, but the lenses are really good. And I've worn those uh, in a bright, on a bright sunny day shooting outside and they don't darken the, uh, everything as much as a normal pair of uh, cheaper sunglasses would. And they still are really useful and easy to see the target. Uh, and equal, equally, I'm not going to put these in any order really, because they're all different. But the, uh, the other ones I've just spoken about, the Cobra is both in the, both in the contrast lens for probably indoor and for making everything seem sort of sharper and brighter. Uh, and also the yellow lens um, so for sort of picking out the sort of making everything brighter on a, on a kind of a, a bright day as well, which because the, uh, the yellow lens seems to reduce glare as well. So, I mean, you've got an eight pound pair on the left hand side in the Cobras and you've got a 40 pound sort of lens pair on the right on the contours. Um, so, yeah, I recommend that any of these three um, types of sunglasses for shooting really. I mean, if you've come across a pair of sunglasses that you really like, um, that are comfortable, um, that, 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 that really work for you, then please let us know because I'm really interested to, to, to tell others and find out about the best kind of, uh, uh, best value for money really in a sort of a sunglass um, or sunglasses that could be used for kind of shooting archery really. That's all for now. Thanks for listening for that. That was a bit of a longer video than I normally do, um, just because I had so many sort of pairs of sunglasses to get through and to show you. Um, please subscribe and I'll uh, put out more videos when I can. Thanks for watching.